Musicians, join us. Let's sing it one more time. Oh, Zana. Oh, Zana. I give you glory, Lord. Hey, Lord. the Lord, to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who was and is and is to come, the Holy Lamb of God, the King of Kings, the Rose of Sharon, the bright and morning star, the Lily of the Valley, the Lamb that was slain, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the God who is a keeper, the God who is Jehovah, Yahweh, the Almighty the one who was and is and is and is and will forever be here. He is in the house tonight. Lift up your hands and worship it. He is in the house tonight. God is in his place. He is lifted on high. He is lifted on high. He is lifted on high. And he sits upon the circles of the heart. Praise the Lord Jesus. We bless your holy name. We worship you. The price. Oh, 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 The Bible says we should make a joyful noise unto the Lord Woo! and give him a clap of a ring. I will make a joyful noise and give him a clap of a ring. Shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! 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 Eminio, 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 Shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Reach your neighbor to the left and to the right and welcome them to the house of the Lord. Welcome to the place where it is happening. The place where the mountain of the Lord is exalted above every other mountain and the people of the nations of the earth shall flow into heat. They shall say, let us go to the house of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. 
and he will do what? He will teach us in his ways. We will walk in it and we shall be who he wants us to be. And the Bible makes it further that the law shall proceed out of Zion. The law will proceed out of this place tonight uh, and it will acquit you and it will vindicate you and it will do you good in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you can be seated in heavenly places far above principalities and powers. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, I'm seated in heavenly places uh, far above principalities and powers. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, I want to thank God for tonight. Uh, I want to thank God for the testimony that my sister gave. She has been at it since 2012, and God answered her cry within seven days. Uh, I remember the last meeting that we had last month. Uh, um, one of our sisters, uh, she, was, she was on drugs, and you know, when we were praying, I invited some of us to pray at UI, and so when we were praying, she said, she told God that this meeting, that meeting of last month, that God should do something about her case. Uh, and lo and behold, by at the time we are finishing that meeting, she has stopped taking the drugs and God has healed her. Can we give God a big God bless you? Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Last Tuesday we were having a Bible study. We normally have a Bible study, you know. And um, one of our sisters said the father was ill. She was sharing the testimony with me this morning. She said by the next day they went to visit the father. The father was already in church. He was praising God. God healed the father. The Lord God Almighty who has done all these things will do the same for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. And much more, and much more, and much more. You know, uh, I, I have a testimony in the pipeline concerning another sister of mine, very beloved sister, but I'm not sharing that testimony today. I'm sharing it the next meeting. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Many people have been thinking. Many people have looked at this year. They have looked at their life. And they have seen so many uncertainties. Sir. Some people have begun to question the, 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 the existence on earth. Some people have begun, have begun to reflect uh, over their life. Uh, some have almost given up on life. Uh, some have been besaddled with a lot of, a lot of maybes and if nots and maybe nots. Uh, many people are around, uh, around the, the, the edge, the edge of life. Uh, many people have almost given up in despair and fallenness. Uh, Many have lost jobs, uh, many have lost businesses, uh, many have lost loved ones, uh, but you are standing in this place tonight, uh, and I think uh, you need to thank God for that. Uh, and yours forever. The Lord God is good, uh, and is good forevermore. The Bible says by the message of the Lord that we have not been consumed. Uh, and I know that the Lord God Almighty, who has brought you this far, will see you through in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, Lo and behold, uh, you are engraving upon the palms of my hands. Uh, your words are continually before me. He said, If a mother forget a sucking child, he said, Lo, I will never forget you. I want you to know that God is in the business uh, of of remembering you is in the business of making a success out of your life he is the business of lifting you up he is the one who pulls up from the stone hill and sets him to be among the princes of his people for Samuel chapter 2 verse 8 God is in the business of lifting you up he said my thoughts towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to a hope and a future God wants something fantastic to happen to you God has proposed your life to prosper to make a meaning to be impactful and to make relevance uh, in your generation. And I decree and declare over your life, uh, you will not leave this earth uh, until you have lived legacies, uh, until you have left uh, your footprints uh, in the sand of time. Uh, shout hallelujah. God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of disaster. God is not the author of death. God is not the author of failure. He has said, uh, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me to do? Luke chapter 1 verse 37. He said, behold, nothing shall be impossible with me. I want you to know this money, that this night, uh, that God wants your life uh, to change. Uh, while I was preparing for this service, uh, the Lord said to me, you are going to open a new chapter uh, of your life uh, after this meeting. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will open a new chapter. Say, I will open a new chapter. I will open a new chapter. 
He said to the children of Israel, He said, You have rolled around this mountain for too long. He said, It is now time to move not water. This is your time to break out. This is your time to break out on the right. It is your time to break out on the left. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. God will have me tell somebody tonight. As you leave this place, you are leaving a new person. You are leaving a changed person. He has said, He will do you good. Tonight, I want to share with us from the scriptures. We want to, the Lord says, This meeting is for yoke breaking. He says, I am the yoke breaker. God will break every yoke in your life tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have seen some people giving up. I have seen some people cast, cast down. I have seen some people that have withdrawn back up to partition. I have seen some people say it is not, it is not, it is not, it is not profitable to serve God again. Just like it was said in the book of Malachi chapter 3. They said it is no longer profitable to serve God. But I have good news for you tonight. Uh -huh. God says in the day that I will separate my jewel, we are in that season right now, God will separate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 19. The Lord speaking. Uh, he said, I have not, I have not spoken in secret. Neither have I spoken in the dark places of the earth. Uh, that I have said to the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. I have not said that you will seek me in vain. He said, I that speak righteousness and declare right things. I have declared right concerning you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Many people have been shadowed by yokes. Many people are wondering, are struggling. My heart aches every time I see us go for prayer meetings. We pray over the same thing all the time. We pray over the same thing. Many people are still dabbling, moving in shackles, asking God, when will this be over? I have seen people with paralysis. I have seen people with all sorts of ailments, all sorts of situations in their life that seem not to give way. But I know, according to the book of Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27, he said it shall come in that day. Say it shall come today. It shall come today. Say it shall come in that day that the yoke, that the burden shall be taken off your shoulder. The yoke shall be taken off your neck. <laughs> and the yoke shall be destroyed by the reason of the anointing. Tonight, uh, that burden uh, shall be taken off your shoulders. Uh. Tonight, the yoke uh, shall be taken off your neck. Uh, and uh, the yoke shall be destroyed uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. There is an anointing in the air. There is an anointing in the air. God is in this house tonight. He is here. He is here to right every wrong in your life. Uh. What is a yoke? A yoke is, is a carved wooden, wooden thing like this that they used to put on the neck of an oxen. They used it, the farmers used to use it in those days. They put it on it like an harness. They put it upon the neck of, 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 of the oxen and then they put the, 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 the plow behind it. So the plow, the, 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 the woods that connect it to the yoke are on the shoulders of the oxen and there the burden of the plow rests. And then they pull, they pull that plow and the oxen begin to drag it. And a, a, a yoke signifies subjection. A yoke signifies subjection. I don't know how many people in the house tonight and one form of subjection or the, or the other. It signifies subjection. So people are subjected involuntarily to situations that seem to be beyond them. Household wickedness, generational sicknesses, generational curses, generational patterns in their lives. So people have intentionally put themselves into bondage. 
What is it that you are subjected to tonight? Sir? A yoke can mean servitude. A yoke can mean servitude. Anybody that is yoked is into slavery. That is, you are in servitude to the person who has put the yoke upon you. The Bible tells us the book of John chapter 10 verse 10 says the enemy has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come to give life and to give it more abundantly. It is the devil that puts yokes on no, us. It is not God. So people are having the yoke of sicknesses. Yoke of failure to bring up success. Yoke of stagnancy. Yoke of, 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 of what seems to be curses, even though they are Christian. Patterns. Patterns. Generational patterns. I have seen people go to the hospital and they will ask them, do you have the history of this particular sickness in your house? Imagine. And then Christian will say yes. And then they will say, okay, no wonder. You have to be managed. Is there any management with God? In Exodus chapter 15 verse 26, sir, he said he is Jehovah Rapha. In Exodus 23, 25, sir, he said, sickness will I take away from the midst of you. In 1 Peter 2, 24, he said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. In Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 5, sir, he said that he is the Lord that has healed you. Will you take that? Sir? Will you believe him? God is the one. The devil put people into slavery. So people are slaves to habits. They are slaves to habits. So people have lost uh, opportunities. Uh, and instead of them being at the lead at the top, they are the ones serving their juniors. In the book of, of the Genesis, uh, chapter 27 uh, and verse 10. 27 and verse 10. Uh, 27 and verse 40. Then God pronounced upon Esau. And he said, by the sword will you leave. He said, you will serve your brother. And he said, but when you get, when you get restless, you will break the yoke from off your neck. How many people are restless tonight? How many people are restless tonight? If you are restless, shout amen. So when you are restless, you will break the yoke from off your neck. Do you know something? He said he will break the yoke from off his neck. Yes, Esau actually became restless. He became restless and he broke the yoke from off his neck. But the yoke was not destroyed. He lived in the shadow of his brother forever. But your case will not be like that tonight. Uh -huh. Not only will the yoke be off your neck, uh, it shall be destroyed uh, by the reason of the anointing. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the burden. He said the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. When a yoke is put upon someone, then there comes a body. What is the body that you are carrying tonight? What body are you carrying tonight? Is it the body of a sick one, of a loved one who is unemployed? Is it the body of a loved one who is yet to give his life to Christ? Is it the body of household wickedness? I want you to know that tonight the fire of God will come to your situation and set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Before I proceed further, I want you to know I'm, 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 I'm putting up your faith so that you can be able to pray tonight. So that you can be able to lay hold on eternity tonight. Uh, the Bible says uh, that God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Uh, number 23, 19, as he not said it, and we need not do it. As he not spoken, and we need not bring it to pass. Uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 29, uh, he says the strength of Israel will not lie. Uh, the strength of Israel will not, will not lie. Psalm 89, verse 34. He said, my covenant will not break, nor alter the things that has gone out of my lips. And he spoke expressly in, a, in a Genesis chapter 27, 22, and verse 17. He said, I have sworn by myself. I have sworn by my word. In blessing will I bless you. In, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 6 and verse 13, he said the same thing. He said, I have sworn by my soul that in blessing I will bless you. In Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 23, he said, in blessing, I have sworn by my word. I have sworn by my word. In blessing, I will bless you. So you know that God's plan for you is to bless you. He spoke expressly to the father of covenant, Abraham. 
and he spoke in verse 18. He said, uh, he said, your seed shall possess, shall, oh, no, in, 20, uh, in Genesis 22 verse 16 was where he said, uh, in blessing, uh, 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 that he swore by his word. In Genesis 22 17, he said, by his, he said, uh, he said that your seed shall possess the gates of the heart. So they will possess the gates of your enemies. You will not only be blessed, also your seed will possess the gates of your enemies. Sir. So I don't want you to be crest falling tonight. Sir. If God will deliver you, your deliverance shall be total. He will deliver you with the entire members of your household in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. For the yoke shall be taken off your shoulder. And the yoke shall be broken by the reason of what? The anointing. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of Mark chapter 5, the book of Mark chapter 5 was laid in uh, with three great miracles of God. In the book of Mark chapter 4, we were told about how Jesus said to the disciples, uh, he said, let us cross to the other side. Uh, and when they were uh, on inside the boat uh, and they were about to cross, uh, something happened to them. They witnessed a storm. Uh, and that storm was so turbulent uh, that the disciples cried to him. Uh, and the Bible said Jesus was sleeping. Uh, he was sleeping in the boat. Uh, and there was a terrible storm. Uh, and the disciples said to him, Master, care not that we perish. And Jesus stood up and said, Oh, ye of little faith. And what did he do? He rebuked the storm. And he spoke to the storm and rebuked the wind and said, What? Peace be still. I speak to every storm in your life tonight. I speak to every wind, turbulent wind in your life tonight. Whatever world wind that is swelling around you, I say, Peace be still in the name of Jesus. And in Mark 5, you know something? When God wants to do something in your life, the enemy tries to, to obstruct it. The enemy tries to prevent it. Just like this meeting was almost not holding. You know why? Because Satan knew that his time is, 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 uh, is, is, um, wow, my God. Praise the name of the Lord. It's least, I wanted to use that word, it's least on your life uh, as expired tonight. Uh. I say it's least on your household uh, as expired tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. And so he tried to prevent them from crossing over. But the master was in the boat. Say the master was in the boat. Say the master is in the boat of my life tonight. The master is in the boat of my life tonight. Uh. His name is Jesus Christ. Uh. Christ means uh, was derived from the word Christos uh, in, the, in the Greek word called the anointed one. Christ the anointed one. The anointed one is in the house tonight uh, and he will do you good in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh. No one knew what was going to happen. And they got to the city of the gatherings. In Mark chapter 5, God had recorded three mighty miracles. When you see the storm, when you see the wind in your life, uh -huh. when it seems as if all hell has broken loose, uh -huh. when it seems as if uh, you, are, you don't have a way of escape again, uh, when you cast off your hand in despair, uh, when you are crying in the night, uh -huh. the Bible says, no, weeping may endure, but for a night, uh, in the morning comes joy, your joy is here right now, in the name of Jesus. When you are about, uh, when you are about giving up in despair, I want you to know that the boy is about to break. That is when God is about to show up. Uh -huh. Oh! Though your situation seems unending, uh, but the ender of every dark night uh, is in the boat of your life. Uh -huh. And you will end uh, every unending, seemingly unending mystery, seemingly unending despair, seemingly unending sorrow in the name of Jesus. They enter into the city of the gatherings. And as Jesus stepped out of the boat, the madman, there was a man who was living in the tombs. He was a madman. And he ran towards Jesus. Many of us, some of us, if a, if a madman ran towards you, you will run away. But as the madman ran towards Jesus, this man, the Bible says, he lives in the tomb. And that everybody knew him to be stuck and raving mad. Look at that point, you're ready with the mangoro. I want to wear the pambele, wear the totibo, the way that the mad kind of madness that, that when you see, you cannot withstand. The Bible makes us to know that he, but they have tried to bind him numerous times, uh, and he will just break the chain as if they were like flags. Uh, 
And then the Bible tells us that he will be cutting himself with stones uh, and he will be screaming uh, in the night. Uh, I don't know what kind of frustration that you have encountered. Uh, what kind of trouble you have encountered. Uh, I don't know where they have buried your dream, uh, where they have buried your destiny. But while I was preparing for this meeting tonight, uh, the Lord made me to know that somebody whose destiny has been buried in the tombs uh, shall suddenly receive back the destiny and that your destiny will resurrect uh, in the name of Jesus. He ran to us him. When he got there, instead of attacking Jesus, he paid homage. He worshipped him. The demon in him worshipped the Lord. Every demon that is, has completed anyone to this place tonight. Uh -huh. The Bible says uh, God has given him a name that is exalted above every other name. Uh, that at the name of Jesus, uh, every name must bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things beneath the earth, Philippians 2, 9, and also in the book of Ephesians, the Bible tells us, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, in verse 19, ah, the Bible tells us that, that Lord, the power that has raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, uh, oh Lord God Almighty, is the same power that destroyed every power and brought up Jesus, uh, and is now seated uh, at the right hand of the Father uh, in the heavenly places, uh, far above principalities, uh, and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world and in the world to come, I decree and declare every name that is named, that is not the name of the Lord, that is striving with you, that is striving for with your destiny, that is contending for your soul, that is contending for your destiny, that is contending for your lifting, that is contending for your promotion, that is contending for your change. Uh -huh. I say tonight, uh -huh, they bow in the name of Jesus. The mighty one is in the house tonight. His name is Jehovah. He is my God. He is the one who brought the change. Uh -huh. The Bible says, have his power, principalities and powers. Uh, he made the show of them openly, triumphing over them in nature. He is in the house tonight. Uh -huh. He said, for this reason, uh, was my Jesus made manifest, uh, that he might destroy the works uh, of the wicked one. Uh, whatever works uh, is working in your life, uh, is that all tonight, uh, and then that's come to heat uh, in the name of Jesus. He worshipped him. And Jesus asked them, how many are you? They, they, have, they had already buried that man. How can 2,000 demons be in the man? He said, we are a, we are a legion. And one rogo bogoje, and one rogo yogo dano. They had finished that guy. You know, on paper, they had finished him. There was no way. In fact, people do not go near where the man stayed in the tombs. Because they believe that he was a done deal for the devil. How can somebody be carrying a legion of demons within him? They had buried his destiny. But I know there is somebody in the house tonight. Uh -huh. No matter how far they have gone with your life, uh -huh. it is not as bad as that one. Uh. The Bible makes us to know in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11, uh, he said, how much more we know the spirit of him uh, that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, quicken your mortal body by the same spirit. Uh, I, um, I am sensing a quickening of destiny tonight. Uh. I am sensing the resurrection of destiny tonight. Uh. I am sensing the coming back to life of someone's destiny tonight. In the name of Jesus. They said they were a legion. And then Jesus said, you have to leave him. And they said, please, don't let us leave this, this town. They still had other stars to destroy. <laughs> I don't care. Ooh, whatever. Either powers, principalities, uh, rulers of darkness of this world, uh, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Uh, one thing I know is that you have, been, you have made a joint ayah with Jesus uh, and your life is hidden in Christ uh, and you are seated in heavenly places uh, far above principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named. And I say tonight, uh, I should begin to decree over your life, uh, every situation that is observing your life, uh, every situation that is not glorified God in your life must be way in the name of Jesus. They say, let us go into the swine. And to that swine, he lost their life and he went into the sea. What a mighty deliverance. And then the next thing that happened was that people 
had about it and the king. And the king and he saw the one who was mad, who was in Tatars, they saw him close like in his right frame of mind with Jesus and the mother. The next thing they said was that Jesus should be speak their peace. You know, the wicked ones, they become afraid. The Bible says the wicked man running through the man for sweat, but the righteous is as bold as a lion. And the Bible says that the wickedness of the wicked sits. And you say the wicked shall fall into the same between their dog. When they see you next time, they shall say, For we are clean men, please depart from us, because they shall matter. And they say, Surely this is the Lord's spirit, and it is marvelous in our eyes, because it's said in the book of Them. 
you will share your story. For every mess, there's a message. That same thing in which you have suffered affliction is your message to you all. And that message shall have this multitude. Do not worry. Do not worry. No matter how messy your situation is, sir, it is going to be a message of deliverance to multitude. In the name of Jesus Christ. For now we tell the book of Romans chapter 8, he said, For we know that all things work together for good to them who love the Lord and are the call according to his purpose. Because you are called according to God's purpose and because you love the Lord, it will turn around for your situation, it will turn around for your good tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. First thing that happened was that man worship the Lord. You worship the Lord with this time. As they was going, as they left the place, they landed. The first person that came to him was Darius. The next person that came was Darius. And he said, My daughter is on the same bed. And I wish he would come and forgive him. And Jesus was going towards Darius' house. And the Bible made the record that there was a woman with the issue of the blood. How many years? 12 years. How many years? Is it for 20 years? 12 years. Issue of the blood. 12 years. You know, in those days, if you are unclean, when you are, when you are having a lot of disciples, you do not stay in those days. You cannot stay among people. Thanks be to God who has sent you at liberty with women. Tonight you can move freely in your house. Tonight you can move freely in the society. In those days, you must go into refuge. You must go into a place uh, until your time has, has come and gone. But this woman is old, her own time did not go. It remained for 12 years. Uh. The Bible says she had seen many physicians, uh, but she was not the better for it. I don't know if you have a medical condition tonight. Or you have somebody who has a medical condition to Jesus Christ. Hey. Say you are not going to be better for it. She was not going to be better for it. But she said, if I may not touch the hand of his God. The anointing is in the house. Christus is in the house tonight. The woman said, if I may not touch her. Are you desperate enough to want to touch the hand of his God? Are you desperate enough to want to touch that anointing tonight? I tell you, as you stretch your face, as you move in the spirit. Oh Lord. Who are pressing on Jesus? They had no, they, they had no mission. The Bible says, "Surely there is a name. The expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short." I don't know why you come here tonight. If only the reason you came here tonight is to come and support Pastor Philip, then you are coming with nothing. This is not Pastor Philip's show. This is the meeting that has been ordained by God to, to deliver His people, to heal His people, to break loose up every part of the enemy of your lives, to make leaders out of you, to make success out of your life. To prosper, to make a captain of industry, to make a captain of people out of their life. And so, if you are prepared tonight, if that is the expectation of coming here, the expectation will not be much shorter in the name of Jesus. And then she touched it. The Bible says, suddenly it ceased. It ceased. And Jesus said, Virtue has left me. And he said, Out of all this, you can you know if virtue has left but say that no. There is a part of faith that makes a difference. There is a part of faith uh, that brings protocols. Uh, as you make that part of faith tonight, uh, protocols shall be broken uh, and the anointing of God will bring, will bring you and turn around your captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, Where is she? And she came. She was afraid because normally she was not supposed to be saved. But because the miracle has been wrought, she was accepted. 12 years. I remember that woman of 18 years. And Jesus mentioned something. He said, This is not a son of a son of a son of a child of God that has been bound. So which means the child of God, for God can be bound. Do you know that? Which means the child of God can be bound. Oh my God. If you are bound of anything tonight, tonight is your time of being set free in the name of Jesus. And he was and she was delivered. And then Jesus went. And as they were going, they rushed down to them and said, Darius, do not bother the master again, for your child is dying. But Jesus said, you know what, let us go there. Jesus is saying to you tonight, it doesn't matter if the situation has been dead for four days. It doesn't matter if it has been dead for 12 years. It doesn't matter 
if you have been dead for 18 years. It doesn't matter if it is like the man that pulled up a spider that you have been on the streets for 38 years. But it says that this shall come to your home tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Let us go. And when they got there, they saw people crying. You know, there are, there are professional cries. Professional cries. You know, that person is dead. You know, and you know, this is happen. That is why you be careful who comes to your place when you are having issues. Because some of them, whatever they are offering is the money. They want to make sure that that thing does not change. They were crying. Oh, ooh, ooh. Jesus knew them. Jesus said, please, what is all this fuss about? Come and read the place. He said, what is all this happen? He said, therefore, he said, please, can you excuse us? And he said, the child is not dead, but who is he? The people who are crying just now, they started laughing and mocking him. If you are actually guilty for that man, would they be mocking him? Those are the kind of people that will cry with him. They will go behind you and be mocking you. I say tonight, God will separate you from every friendly flow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every friendly foe shall be separated from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every wicked friend, every wicked acquaintance, every wicked member of the family. Jesus took the three, Peter, James, and John, and the parents, and he went to the house and he said to the daughter, he held the hand and said, Tadi Takuma, me, daughter, I say, arise. Brother, I say to your destiny, arise tonight. Sister, I say to your destiny, Tadi Takuma, I say, arise tonight. There is somebody, your destiny was very Thank you. 
Luke 2, 2, 2, Was for twelve years. How many times are 
are in Israel. Twelve. What you are trying to say is, in your father's knowledge, in your father's knowledge, the entire patriarchal matriarchal, whatever has never been achieved, whatever has never been done, whatever liberty, freedom, whatever place has never been achieved in that place, whatever glory that they have never expressed, you shall be the one first to experience it. In the name of Jesus, sir, sir. you are going to begin to begin to begin. The Bible says, sir, in the book of Isaiah, I believe in the it says that that's the entire, whatever I said, the glory of the entire family shall be upon me. They are going to be great tonight. So, Lord, in my father's marriage, in my mother's marriage, every glory that has never been seen, prosperity that has never been seen, achievement that has never been seen, goodness that has never been seen, green life that has never been seen, holiness that has never been experienced, breaking forth that has never been experienced, breaking out that has never been experienced, wealth that has never been experienced, name that has never been broadcasted before, I shall be the first in the name of Jesus. I begin to declare here.
praises of his name. Psalm 149. He tells us that I will praise the name of the Lord. He said, You shall begin to bind them. You shall begin to bind their praises. And you shall begin to bind their noble song. Tonight they are going to dance. He dance and thank you, sir. They are going to sing and dance. They are going to praise the Lord. Your praises will destroy every evil offer. You bind your enemies, sir. And destroy them. anointing is in this place tonight. Christos is in this place tonight. I see the angels of the Lord in this place tonight. Yokes are about to be broken. Bodies are about to be cast off. They are about to be destroyed. You are going to do something. Please, the keep all this. I don't know, we don't have a sax. You are going to give like a horn. You are going to blow like a horn. The Bible tells us I'm serious I sense the anointing. I feel the anointing. I'm not sensing it. I am experiencing the anointing in this place right now. I, 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 it's, it's really welling up here. You are going to do something. As you blow the horn, as you blow the horn, you are going to shout, Jesus. You know, blind Bartimaeus, what did he do? He cried. You are going to do it seven times. Some of you, before you reach the seven, as you are shouting, things will begin to happen in the house. I see, I see destinies exchanged back. Everywhere that they have divided your destiny, it returns back to you. Every cheating that they cheated you, tonight you get a recompense. We are going to cry, Jesus Christ. We are going to shout, Jesus Christ. We are going to do something. After the blowing of the trumpet, are you ready?
I hear the word of the Lord say it is settled. Amen. The Lord says it is settled. Amen. The Lord says that the bondage is broken. Amen. He said the yoke is destroyed. of God is working. Christos is moving in the house. Please, I just want some quiet. Quiet. Let the Holy Spirit do his work. Let the Holy Spirit do his work. Let the Holy Spirit do his work. I feel the anointing on the left side of this all. Moving down right now. Moving down right now. Moving down right now. Turning around. Uh, turning around that situation. Uh, I hear the voice of the Lord say. For your trouble you shall receive double or no. Thank you Jesus. Aha. Aha. Listen carefully. I see the Lord says, like they do in the hospital, after a, after a medical condition has been settled and the person is free, God says he has closed that case. He said that case in your life that has been a thorn in your flesh, he has closed it tonight. Receive a new lease of life! Receive a new lease of life! Receive a new list of life. I hear. I hear. I hear somebody say, When will this stop? Now that the battle is over. The Lord says the battle is over. The Lord says the battle is over. The Lord says the battle is over. Give him pressure. Give him pressure. Give him pressure. Give him pressure. Thank you, Jesus. Got my name Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a miracle in Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Wait, my sister. I see a woman in their house. They brought you a chronicle. It is the chronicle of the great achievements that has begun in your life. You begin to read them out. As you leave this place, within the next 30 days, you shall begin to read the new chronicle of your life. Uh, the new chronicle of achievement. Uh, the new chronicle of lifting. Uh, the new chronicle of promotion. Uh, the new chronicle of the promises of God come to pass. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is a man in this house. There is a man in this house. There is a man in this house. Hey, are they right from the day, right from today when I got to this place, the Lord has been trying to bring your picture to me. There is an open door for you. There is somebody, a very powerful person, is going to connect with your destiny here. And you shall take it to the next level of your life. Uh, the level in which uh, poverty, shame, lack shall seize up uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. He locates you from tonight. Uh, I see him come for you. I see you go to the next level. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise tonight. Before I go on, because we are closing now. If there's somebody in this place, you are yet to give your life to Christ. 
I mean everywhere here. If you are here tonight, you are here to give your life to Christ. You have the opportunity. The pages of your life has not begun. In fact, if for anything, you are in the clutches of darkness. Satan is ruling over your life. He has put you into subjection. If you want to say, Lord, help me tonight. Let me break free from that addiction. Oh, help me break free from that habit. I want a new life. For the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. Is there somebody who asked me, pray with me tonight? I want that new life. If there is such a person in the house tonight, can you please come out? Or you want to rededicate your life? Can you please come? Can you please come? Can you please come? Can you please come? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That sister, there's somebody I said before. They tied your destiny to your dead body, wickedness. But the Lord said to me in the afternoon, He said tonight, that destiny has been detached from the dead body, and that destiny has resurrected. Within seven days, you shall witness a supernatural change concerning your destiny, concerning your situation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Last month, I was ashamed to say this, but today when I was preparing for the service, you know last month the Lord showed me, he said there is somebody. I don't know whether you are here, it's a woman, or you have somebody like that, or anybody hearing me, because this is should go and open her thigh. On, on ashes, Eru. They said she should be on Eru, on ashes. That the thing will go. It did not stop. Afishini. But the Lord said tonight, there is a there is a termination to that shame. The Lord says tonight it stops. The Lord says tonight it stops. You shall no longer be dwell to her. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. It sounds so funny to you. It is what is causing somebody a lot of embarrassment and crying. This person is married, but the husband, I think, is only, is only guessing. He doesn't know. Honestly speaking, God will turn your shame to fame. Tonight, you are rid of that embarrassment. And it is for good in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah! Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you have done tonight. We say, Lord, we shall come back testifying. Yes, Lord. We shall come back testifying. 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 My brother, suddenly, that door that you have been waiting for. I see it suddenly open to you. Amen. Within the next three months. Amen. It just comes like that. It is Amen. God's favor. Amen. It comes to you. 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 Receive it! Receive it! Receive it! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We give him praise tonight. Hallelujah. Glory tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Look at this young man. If you desire to be an international photographer, God says he will open a big door for you. Amen. The Lord says he's opening a big door for you. Amen. If you will only believe it, I see you becoming an international correspondent. Amen. Photographing internationally. Amen. I see you doing it. They were calling you. Amen. You are doing it for an international body. Amen. You became a name. Amen. If only you would desire. Do you receive it? Do you believe it? It is done for you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, let me tell you this. So many years ago, I was ministering in the church. I was pastoring the, the, mother, the headquarters. There was a young man. I will not mention his name. He was the drummer. As I was ministering, the Lord said to me, tell him that I'm going to change his life. The Lord said I should tell him that Indeed, within the next six months, he said he's going to be given a patent right 
by pastes. You know pastes? He said it shall be the African, 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 um, um, what they call link. Said that there is no drum that they will release that he will not be the one to put his signature on it. The young, he was a young guy. He received it here. He received it that day. And do you know something? Before six months was over, the young man called me and said, Sir, I don't know how they got me, but this international drumming, you know, would make drums pasties or something. He said they had called him and they have made him the ambassador for Africa. There is nothing called can do. God will single you out. Amen. God will do you good. I'm telling you to encourage you. He will get you to that place, sir. It is beyond your dreams, sir. Amen. Anything that God says must be beyond you. But he will get you there tonight, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. You can please sit down in heavenly places as we close the service. I just want to announce to us, every Tuesday now, by 5.30 to 6 a.m. in the morning, we are going to be having um, a time with the Lord. I will be sharing the, 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 the scriptures. It will be a teaching session. 5.30 in the morning, I'm going to expand to you. It's going to be called the Flames of Fire. It's going to be 30 minutes with God. I'll be starting it, starting from next week, Tuesday, 5.30 to 6.00. We will resume our vigil on Friday and also do not forget our, our last Friday of the month meeting, sir. I want to appreciate everybody that meet today to happen. You know, some of them are not even in Ibadan. They are so far. They had, they put in their resources. And I thank God for the people that God has used, every one of you. You are going to experience it suddenly in your life. A suddenly that will no longer be delayed. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is my word for you from the Lord. It is a period. Say, I'm in my season of suddenly. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So, God bless you. I thank you for coming. Can we now share the grace in righteousness? Wait, wait, wait. Ejanumi. Want to go? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Please. I just want to just touch your forehead just come quickly i touch you as you go home just come i touch you there is an anointing i don't know the lord just said i should touch your forehead as you come and you go oh, receive it in jesus name please be quick please be quick please be quick. Be, receive it in jesus name. just bring your head to my hand i'm close my hand. receive it receive it receive it Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 Bring that head. Bring that woman. Receive the grace. The power. The power. The grace. Oh Lord. Everything that has held you back. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive her. Receive that thing. Yes, it is your season of manifestation. Thank you, Jesus. Next person, receive it. Receive it. You conceive, you have your own. Be fruitful. Replenish in the name of Jesus. My brother, receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Success in the name of Jesus Christ. Success. Turn around in the name of Jesus Christ. Who next? Please come, please come quickly, quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. Receive it. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. It is now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be quicker. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Who is next? Who is next? Who is next? Quickly, 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 quickly. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a big 
Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of God.